Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. For the last three weeks, we've been killing Corp. Last video, we started with 200 KC and we ended at the drop rate of a sigil, which is 585 KC. Here's what the collection log currently looks like. Apparently I'm a spirit shield magnet because the drop rate for a spirit shield is one out of 64, but we're currently at a drop rate of one out of 36.5 for these spirit shields here, which would probably be more normal if I only had like maybe two or three of them, but after 16 of them still being on a one out of 36 drop rate, it's pretty ridiculous. I average three kills per hour overall, so we've been at Corp for getting close to almost 200 hours now in total. Um, I did time one kill like off stream just going full focus and it was like 13 minutes but overall between like making potions and cooking all the food and everything um, I take about 20 minutes per kill on average and that's because when you're doing this for the long term for like hundreds of hours overall yeah you could go full focus and get at least four or even more kills per hour but that is a good way to get burnt out and in order for me to be comfortable and have fun here in the long run I gotta do what's most comfortable by taking my time and just having fun. The goal here at Corp is to get any sigil. I really don't care which. I'm definitely not expecting like the pattern Ellie or anything. If we ever do see that pink text on the ground, I am fully expecting an arcane or a spectral. Uh, if we ever see that, that is, hopefully. The last video was two weeks of Corp, and I feel like I had so much time to like prepare for things to say in the intro of this video, but I don't know, that's really all I could think of to say for right now, so maybe I'll think of stuff to say later, but um, I guess we'll just get right back in the corp then. Oh yeah, by the way, this cash stack was pretty much zero when we started. So pretty much all of this is just Alks from drops from corp. Now officially drive for a sigil. I could finally start complaining about how unlucky I always am on this account. Literally always. Cannonballs. All right, it's been a while since seeing those. Spirit shield number 17. Dude, this is actually ridiculous how many spirit shields. Oh my god. 17 now. I forgot to point out that was also 600 KC, which means we've now been at Corp for about 200 hours now in total. You can never actually get the drop on the milestone KCs. It's always like random KCs, like, oh, 614 KC. That's like a pretty solid KC to get drop on, I feel like. We got a successful day of Corp done here, and you saw we got more cannonballs today. So what I've been doing, if you haven't been keeping up with the videos, is every day at the end of the day, I'll just like AFK for a champion scroll if I do have cannonballs. And right at the end of the last video, we did finally manage to get the zombie scroll after going there every single day for a while. Um, you can see it was 11.7k KC for that. And uh, I think the one I'll try going for now is maybe the Joger scroll, just like if I have cannonballs. I'm trying to go for the champion scrolls that I feel would be the most annoying to do without a cannon or without cannonballs. And I feel like Jogers might be a little bit annoying. I think I'm just going to hide in the corner and just uh, keep on putting balls in the cannon over and over. So once we come in here, we're going to go up to this thing right over here and hide in the corner. So like if I stand in the corner over here, they can't attack me, but the cannon can like keep on attacking them. So I'll probably just like set the cannon right over here. I mean, you theoretically could range them, but I just go here to AFK while I eat dinner and edit videos and stuff. So I don't want to pay attention. Just filled up with cannonballs and then run into the corner. Um, you are technically supposed to have like the best accuracy possible out of like all these things here, but I really don't care. Maybe that's a bit better, but yeah, I'll just be chilling here, AFKing, trying to get a Joker scroll just for the rest of the night or to like run out of cannonballs. Oh, I think they dropped medium clues too. So I guess maybe we'll be doing like one medium clue per day. I'm not gonna like leave just to do a medium clue. Oh, I should probably get the bone. Cr uh, I don't really care that much actually. <laughs> oh, we got the gamer log coming in soon too. Oh, you know what? It's multi combat, so I could probably just stand here and just turn all the retaliate on and just like chill, I guess, AFK. As long as they don't damage me then. Oh, I guess for the future, I could also bring bones to peaches here if I just wanna be able to pick up the bones. I'm pretty sure it does work on Joker bones. Just doesn't work for Zogre bones and dragon bones and probably anything that gives more XP than big bones, but I guess Joker bones give the same amount of XP as big bones, so that'd be fine. For the future though, I don't really feel like leaving right now just for that. Okay, this clue from Joker is actually gonna put us at 200 mediums, and that is a pretty loaded clue actually. One of the goals of this account is to get all the clue scroll milestones done, so the 500 easies, 400 mediums, etc. So we are halfway to the medium clue scroll goal of 400 eventually for the clueless clue. And let's see if we have this one already. Do not. Cool, that is new. The POH update is supposed to be happening within like a month or something. Um, so unfortunately we can't store this in the POH right now. There is one clue step that requires a miter, but we have that stash unit built already, so. Now that spirit shield number 18 now <laughs> dude oh man i love these things so much onyx bolts nice 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 
Onyx bolts again, back to back. I think it's the first time it's happened. Dude, we're gonna hit the 50 mil cash jack pretty soon. Hey, with this last drop I just sold off, we just hit a 50 mil cash jack. It's actually insane. I think we have like 40 something mil in Nightmare Zone. So we've now made more money from Corp than we had money just like from previous. I just sold off the runes. Virtual attack level that didn't even pop up on the screen there apparently. That was 105 level for attack. Yay, more Onyx bolts. I feel like I should probably eat. We'll risk it for the biscuit. That's how you get drops. Oh, we got Elite. All right, this is the third Elite clue we've gotten from Corp, but just the first one I've actually been able to complete. So here we go. We got another mim Dude, I've gotten way too many mimics on this account. That's actually unreal. <laughs> Another freaking mimic. Is that a PV? No, it wasn't. 8kc though. Alright, we could alk the plank because it alks for a decent amount. Yeah, I guess I kind of over prepared quite a bit, but here we go. Mimic number 8. Okay, no uniques. Exactly what I was expecting. Oh, it's 50 elites as well. So that's uh, one fourth of the way to the 200 elites for the thingy. Okay, so before I logged out, we were rank 6 with 7kc. I'm going to refresh this now. We're now rank 5. Tied for first place. It's a 5-way tie. So as long as I keep choosing to get lucky, we could maybe one day snag rank 1 for Mimic. Oh, we got Onyx Bolts again. Yeah. Yes, Onyx Bolts again. The end pieces on the loaf of bread are the most nutritious part. Oh, Rainer Seeds, cool. I haven't seen that drop for a long time. All right, as we're wrapping up another day here of Dune Corp, uh, I noticed that we just moved up a rank. I know we're at lucky number 666 right here. We started at rank 15 this video, and we're now at rank 14. And one more thing I noticed on my high scores page over here, we got front page for UIM Cooking, rank 22. I think I actually got that a few days ago, but I haven't really been looking at the high scores here. Also, rank 50 for fishing looks really clean as well. Um, but if we open up the cooking thing over here, this is what the front page looks like. So I could probably get a few more pretty easy ranks, especially if I AFK Sacred Eels during the league. But that's really cool. Uh, first time getting a front page for any of the skills on UYM. I do have some front pages for bosses already, but for skilling, it's a... Uh, Pretty cool on the dead game mode, right? <laughs> Anyways, you can see it took me like a hundred hours just to get one more rank at Corp. Cannonball, sweet. Yes. I think it's the second time it's happened where I've spawned the core while specking down Corp. So if I kill it now, it won't spawn during the kill. More cannonballs. That'll be nice for tonight to AFK Jogers probably. Okay, we've got another 100 KC milestone coming in. 700 KC. Bodhi, 73 spec. Skill, that's not very funny. Oh, Spirit Shield. 719 KC. Oh, 719 KC, and I had Spirit Shield number 19. See, it's the little things like that that keep me going. Oh, I just missed it. Wait, we got virtual hit points level. Level 108. Yeah, 108. Everyone say pre-happy birthday to Zaltz. <laughs> oh, we got an elixir. It's a 450k elk. I should have saved the shield that we got just a few kills ago. I could have gotten a little bit extra money. I don't really care about the money that much. Take a look at the log here. Uh, it's 5 elixirs, 19 shields, and 725. Well, we're pretty due for a sigil, I feel like. But hey, man, there's no rush. No rush for anything. Say sit in game. I will say sit in game. Oh, cannonballs. Nice. Ooh, Onyx Bolts, nice. All right, that was the... Oh wait, was I supposed to record that? 750kc8 corp. That means it's been here for 300 hours. Oh, nice. That's very nice. Onyx Bolts. Oh, look at that. We hit a 60 mil cash stack from corp. All right, apparently Oziok's not the person we have to talk to. We're supposed to talk to Sigly for the sigil. Ooh, Onyx Bolts. All right, all right, all right. I feel like this whole video is gonna be me just saying Onyx Bolts, Onyx Bolts, Onyx Bolts, Cannonballs. Okay, while I was streaming today, someone said they made a meme for me and they sent this. I was like, okay, well, it is a good meme, but I know I'm bad at the game, but I'm not that bad where I wear a ranger helm to corp. 10 Ranar seeds got us 107 Ranars. So 321 doses of prayer pot we're gonna get out of that. Update Wednesday. Today we have Mahogany Homes. Let's check it out. Obviously, as I'm recording this, this literally just came out like a few hours ago. But by the time you're watching this, I'm sure this method has been long out. People made videos on it, know how to do the method properly, know all the XP per hour and whatnot. I'm just really surprised this came out so fast because the poll just ended two weeks ago 
and it's coming out now. So either they were working on it a lot before the poll, or maybe just didn't require that much time to actually implement it after they saw the poll pass. So either way, we got construction contracts now. This is how I feel watching everyone, especially all the UIMs testing out mahogany homes and stuff. Uh, I will eventually probably go for front page construction, I'm thinking, if the threshold isn't set too high by the time I get around to it. If slash when I ever do go back to construction, I'll probably just try out my hockey homes for a little bit. But I just really don't want to leave Corp until we get a sigil, so we'll keep on staying here. I know, sunk cost fallacy. We're this far deep. Surely we must be done soon, right? And, uh... Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> actually, you can. You can call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. Okay, there's actually one more post on the website today, which is announcing the next poll, which is going to involve a fishing skill boss, and there's going to be UIM questions on this poll. Uh, two UIM questions, and this one specifically, I really want to focus on this one. So, uh, should UIMs be able to use the fish barrel, which is one of the rewards? Now if we go up over here to the fish barrel, the barrel can store up to 28 raw fish, which can be different species. And this part right here, fish can only be removed from the barrel at a bank, similar to a looting bag. This means that in order to get fish out of the barrel, you would have to die. Just like with a looting bag, you can't just open up the bank and start taking everything out of the looting bag like you can on a normal account. And I assume it'd be the same way for the fish barrel. So you can fish an inventory, put it in the fish barrel, and then die to get it out on a UIM. And they felt this could be such an overpowered item for UIM that they decided there should be a separate UIM poll question for it. This isn't going to change UIM at all, and there's literally no use. I'm going to vote yes on this UIM poll question because it literally doesn't matter at all for UIM. It's just, it's such a dumb question. Anyways, let's get back to Corp. Oh, Campbell's cool. Okay, 800 KC now at Corp. Hey, I just spent the night AFKing at Jogers, and I just finished a farm run after the Jogers. And I just noticed the total XP, I kind of missed it there, but we hit 300 million total XP. Technically, if you have like exactly level 99 in every single skill, all 23 of them, you'll be at pretty much 300 million total XP. Which of course isn't the case for me since I have like all this post 99 XP and a bunch of skills. And of course I won't be maxing anyways, but that's a pretty big milestone, I feel like. Hey, cannonballs. Oh, Onyx Bolts, nice. Hey, more cannonballs. Another Onyx Bolts, nice. Hey, there it is, Joker Champion Scroll. I'm eating again. I always just come here when I go like eat dinner and stuff. Uh, let's check the KC. Looks like it's about 3,600 Jokers to get that scroll. Yes, dude, yes. It's pretty lucky since, you know, it's 1 out of 5k. Alright, here we are once again. I know my gear and like my inventory and everything isn't exactly ideal for uh, collecting champion scrolls, but I just go there to like AFK and really not pay attention at all, so I don't really care. Just try to maximize the inventory space pretty much. But yeah, let's go uh, fight the Joker champion. So for this one, we can't use range attacks apparently. So we're gonna go in here. I know I say this every time, but if you do want to keep a champion scroll, you have to drop it on the ground. And then after you kill the champion, you can pick it back up. But it doesn't really matter for a UIM since of course you can't put it anywhere anyways. I'll just drop it just to show you because I've shown in the past that it just immediately disappears from your inventory. Um, but now we can just pick it back up. I'm going to leave it there though, because I really don't care. Looking at the wall over here, we can see we have uh, four banners up here. So that means we have four out of the ten champion scrolls done. Uh, I still have to AFK for a little bit longer tonight. I don't know which scroll I'm going to go for next. Okay, I think we'll try out skeletons next. This is the place I did them on my main as well. Um, probably not the most ideal spot. I think a lot of the best spots are in the Wildy, but of course that's not really going to be very convenient for me. So the spot we're going to is right inside this pipe over here. Oh yeah, I remember there's like the herring on there, so you could use that for healing, and we have bones to peaches too. Um, it is single combat, so I guess mainly the cannon will just be nice to like aggro one skeleton at a time onto me, so I don't have to like manually click on them each time. <laughs> Oh man, 850 KC, holy elixir, number 6, it's a great elk, 450k to the cash stack. <laughs> what? Wait, we actually just got back to back elixir. <laughs> what the? What? So we've gotten uh, back to back shields twice, and now we just got back to back elixirs for the first time. Okay, well there's the collection log now, 7 elixirs and 19 shields in 851, what the? It's so weird. Yeah, I just made like 900k GP and Alex at least, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, Onyx Bolts. Oh, Elite. It's been a while. Yes, okay, we got the Elite casket. Let's drop all this stuff here, and... Ooh. Alright, so the POH update, which will allow us to store these set items individually, 
Uh, it's supposed to be coming out next week, which is going to be like five days from the time I'm recording this. So I think I could actually hold on to these for a little while. So if we try to store this right now, you'll see that we need the full set. Uh, it's only two pieces. We just eventually have to get the D high top. If we ever are able to finish this uh, and get the top piece, that'd be really, really nice for Slayer because I don't even have any blessed DI chops. So this would be like a storable black DI chops. So I don't have to waste like five minutes every time I want to get black DI chops instead of my Burk skirt for certain things like the Bite Caves, for example. Mm, I've been trying to think about this. I actually haven't used any doses of Parapods for like 700 corp kills or something. So I think I'll just like replace the prayer pot slot over here with the black dehyde chaps G and uh, I'll just decant that prayer pot back into the stack. Here's what the chaps look like too, by the way. So very cool fashion scape as well. I'm actually getting really hype about this. The more I think about it. like this is actually a really good item to get. If we ever get that top to store it, that'll be really, really, really nice. Oh, just for clarification, after the update, you can put items into the costume room individually, but you can't take them back out until you finish the set. So once I do put it in there, it will be locked in there essentially forever, unless I ever get the top. Cannonballs. Ooh, nice, very nice. So many cannonballs now. Oh, we got a virtual defense level. It's 105 defense now. Hey, we just hit a 70 mil cash stack. Okay, big old 900 KC. Hey, Corp. It's been about 300 hours of corp now. Also, as of today, it's been, I think, exactly one month since I started doing corp. <laughs> oh, Onyx Bolts. All right. Cannonballs. Yay, more Onyx Bolts. Cannonballs again. Woo. I'll just choose to get the sigil. Oh, I mean, I'll choose to get Onyx Bolts. Yeah, I call it. No way. Onyx Bolts again. Another uh, great meme that someone made in the stream today. It's meant to say Devious because this is supposed to be him since these are all screenshots taken from his videos. And that's me with my currently 19 spirit shields. No. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> More cannonballs. Oh wow, spirit shield number 20. It's been a while since we've uh, seen one of those actually. Oh, oh virtual strength level 106 strength. <laughs> Holy elixir number 8. Nice uh, 450k alk once again. <laughs> onyx bolts. Oh, onyx bolts. Hey, we just hit the 80 mil cash stack. Oh, we got a spirit shield number 21 now. 997kc. Right before we finish the 1,000 corp kills. Here we go, 1,000 KC at corp for the Mystic Fire Stop. <laughs> Twitch chat's just going absolutely wild right now. Everyone's favorite drop here. All right, 1,000 KC quadruple digits. I really didn't think we'd be here this long. Well, here's the uh, collection log from the 1K corp kills. Eight elixirs, 21 spirit shields, and we are just about to get the gamer log here. With 1,000 corp KC, we are ranked number 11 for the UYM corp KC. And according to this dry calculator, you know, you put in the 1 out of 585 for the chance of hitting the sigil table. We've done 1,000 kills, so there's essentially an 81.93% chance of having at least one sigil by now. I spend an unhealthy amount of time looking at this calculator and entering and different numbers and stuff and just staring at these percents. We've essentially flipped a coin and called it wrong twice in a row plus a little bit more. Or I guess like one out of every about five people will go this dry as well. There's so many different ways to look at it. I'm trying to like not look at this thing at all but it's hard man. It's hard. Like there's such a big difference between going for PVM grinds when like you don't know when you're gonna be done with the grind versus going for skilling grinds when there's like a set end to the grind and you know how far away you are from that goal. My normal account has been standing here at the ditch picking up all the drops. Um, I haven't left at all except for like a couple 99 parties, but yeah, for the most part, just been picking up all these items here. I guess we could take out these. Doesn't really matter that much, but we did get some items from clues over time that I dropped over, but for the most part, we got all these corp drops here. Uh, 28 mil worth. Okay, and then as for the loot tracker, I don't know why for some reason it's only recorded 988 of the kills, but yeah, I can see everything here that we've gotten so far. I don't want to really get too much into this until we're actually leaving Corp for real. Um, which does mean that in the next video, we are going to keep on killing Corp. Oh yeah, still been killing the skeletons as well, up to uh, 2.9k KC. I think we got Champion to scroll this video, right? Didn't we get the Joker scroll this video, maybe? I don't know, dude. This video has been like... Wait, let me see. I have to actually go back and check. I think it's been almost two weeks of progress. I think 13 or 14 days so far of uh, just killing Corp. And in total, it's been, I think, 33 or 34 days 
since we originally started doing corp. Oh yeah, and then for the 1,000 corp kills, uh, we started with about 28 million hit points XP, and now we're at 33.4 million. So it's uh, a little bit over 5 million hit points XP gained. I did get a little bit of hit points XP, just like AFK for the champion scrolls, because like I'll still attack them with my weapon, even though the can doesn't give hit points XP. Of course, hitting it with the whip will still give me hit points XP. So 5 mil hit points XP sounds about right. And then, of course, we can't forget the 80 mil GP cash stack, which is absolutely insane because all this was made from Corp, not to mention the 40 mil plus that I had Nightmare Zone from before, which I put in there specifically because I wanted to keep track of all the money that we got just from Corp. The POH update's also happening in just a few hours, so once that comes into the game, I'll be able to put the uh, Black DI Chaps G into the costume room here in the treasure chest, and then I'll have the open spot over here, which I'll probably just end up replacing with a crystal halberd. Anyways, I don't know, it kind of feels like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders when I got to 1000 KC. So it feels like, kind of like starting fresh, but not really, I don't know. It's a really weird feeling knowing that we could still be here for a very, very long time, but... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna wrap up here, so hopefully see you back, uh, hopefully soon, hopefully we can, uh, finish the shield from Corp. I'm still motivated though, we're not gonna stop just because of the cost room update or anything else, we're gonna keep on going, and, uh, yeah, it's been a long day today, so hopefully I said everything I wanna say. And with that said though, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.